Oh, man. Whew. I am so tired. I literally just got back to the theaters once again, like my previous review. But, um, wow, I am terribly conflicted. Uh, let me just say, okay, I saw a lot of things that were done right, but I could also see a lot of things that could have been improved on. So the last voyage of the Demeter is based off of the Captain's Log chapter in the Bram Stoker's classic 1897 Dracula novel and tells the story of a crew on board of a ship that gets terrorized by Dracula's new awakening. Now I personally have never read the novel prior to this one, as I imagine a lot of people haven't, you know, like even though I review movies. I, it, 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 there's a variety and a range of movies that it's impossible to research every single aspect about a movie when going into it. A lot of people from uh, the Oppenheimer review that I did don't quite understand that. <laughs> but anyway, once I saw the the trailer coming into this, I mean, I always browse like the coming soon section of my movie theater's webpage just to see what interests me. And I was like, hmm, I have no movie to watch this week. What's this week? This movie. And I watched the trailer and wow, I was instantly persuaded to watch this movie. Even though I'm sure this movie is one of those that's gonna fly below a lot of people's radars. I mean, as even as a little kid, like I've always loved the thought of like sailing the high seas, you know, searching for treasures and islands and yeah, I don't know, just like going out at sea and like the dangerous natures of it, the myths the legends, all of that. And because of that, I had a decent time with this one. Even though there's not much variety, it's just a crew against Dracula, it was still pretty suspenseful, you didn't really know too much of what to expect, and the kills were quite satisfying. And sure, even though once we get closer to the final act, the suspenseful nature of the movie does die down a bit, and it becomes a bit repetitive more than anything else, you can still tell the evolution in this movie and how, like, <laughs> the movie was evolving with each act. After each night, you could feel change. You could feel Dracula's evolution. And the film builds up to a pretty epic conclusion. One that I honestly loved and enjoyed. This is a movie where I could see its potential. Like, it does a lot of things right, but at the same time, like I said, I could see ways where it could have been improved on. First off, the movie tries to be emotional, and I can definitely see it was working. Some scenes were beautiful, but unfortunately for me, I didn't find myself caring too much for the for the emotional aspect of the movie, even though I could see they definitely tried. Because there wasn't like a huge, there wasn't a whole lot of backstory for like each of the characters, and you don't really feel like you spend enough time with them to ultimately like care about them. But I think the backstory thing is the main thing here. There are certain things, man. Oh, like it's, there are certain things I could have seen to make this movie a whole lot better. And I don't know if it's like within the limits because it's like based off of like a chapter in a book. But you know, like this is just for me an outsider's perspective, as I'm sure the majority of the audience watching this would be like, you know. But I mean, I could see. A way where they could have maybe implemented more backstory uh, and like maybe flashbacks to the Dracula character and his uh, past and his backstory as well as to one key character that is kind of related to him in a way which I'm not gonna spoil but yeah I just I could have seen a way where they could have just implemented some flashbacks or something to kind of make us feel more for that key character and make us learn more about Dracula in a way because I'm sure every, there are so many iterations of Dracula, right? That, I mean, in this one, it was definitely a more serious one and more demon-like creature, right? But yeah, like I said, it would be nice to learn more about it. And also I had a thought, like maybe it would have been better if, if instead of viewing it from the point, because in this movie, you view it from the point of view of already no knows what happens, like you're viewing it as the audience, whereas the point of view from the actual crew members is different. And I, a part of me at one point thought, maybe it would have been better if we would have viewed it from their perspective so that we would 
get more surprised, you know, when, when the stuff happens. So like, we don't expect it. And maybe the, but then uh, another thought of me came across and it's like, oh, well then the trailer had to be, it would have, uh, would have had to be made differently, you know, and be more like kind of ambiguous and like, uh, Dracula <laughs> is a good marketing. I mean, uh, Dracula, the name, uh, it, it drew me in. So I'm sure it drew, draws like a lot of the majority of the people who might be interested in this so yeah that's one thing i do recommend if you ever check this movie out uh don't watch the trailer coming into it although me saying it now it's probably already too late but anyway ultimately the last voyage of the demeter was a good watch it's one that i don't want to say was wasted potential but i see it tries however it doesn't do so as successful as maybe it could have been i'm gonna give the last voyage of the demeter a b also forgive me if this review was a bit short uh, and not as elaborate because again this is me like the gran turismo review coming back, having less time to think about it actually, cause I didn't travel all the way to the city and just literally just got back and just did this review. So I probably, probably left out some things, but this is just another one that's of my initial impressions of the movie, I guess. And it was a movie that I had a good time with it was a bit repetitive with I mean ultimately the thing that I wanted to say and the thing that I wanted to like Share my point across is that this movie tries right it it, it tries but I guess as a from a movie critic standpoint I mean it could have been better like from a critic standpoint because I've seen a lot of movies and like at <laughs> by this point after five years of movie reviews, like there are certain things in movies that I can just pick apart more than the average person and be like, hey, it would have been cooler if it was this way instead of what it actually was. So that's kind of what I'm feeling with this movie. But ultimately, like I said, it's it's it was a decent watch. I mean, by the end, I got like even more hyped about it because I feel like the conclusion was the main thing. And even though, like I said, there wasn't that much variety, like it was just a Dracula, which by the way, once you learn and once you see what he actually is, once you guess part, once you get past its initial scare, the scare factor just immediately drops down as long as well as the suspenseful factor <laughs> that kind of just drops down as well, which is a shame. But that's why I say, okay, maybe like it could be more ambiguous and like the point of view of the crew so that we would be surprised more. But like I was saying, I was pretty impressed by the ultimate finale. Um, I'm not going to spoil it or tell anything more than that, but I will say that it, there was a beautiful touching moment in the movie towards the end, which I honestly didn't feel anything for, even though the movie tries so hard to be emotional. And that's because, you know, like I said, you don't learn enough about the backstory between each of the key characters. I mean, not between, but of the key characters. And they just, you don't really feel too much for them in the end, which is a shame. But at least this movie tries. Also, I don't know if it's limited by the book. <laughs> I mean, the book... I, like I said, I never, I'm interested in like the people who have seen or read the book, how like they might, the people who are, are those people might enjoy this movie more because of that. But for me, all I can say is that it was an okay watch. Also, one thing I forgot to say, uh, after thinking in the shower, bro, sequel, oh my God, that fucking final Thing, I'm a Bob, whatever you want to call it. Hints at a sequel, and I was wondering because I know Dracula is well known for his cape, his hat, his whatever, right? I didn't really see that, and I was wondering how this one was different, but then we kind of saw, you know, like something similar to him, and then some other story that might lead to like a future movie. If there's something like that, I'm 100% down for that. Anyway, that's it. My initial thoughts of the movie. Um, what do I want to say before I end it off? Let's just say this. Uh... <laughs> oh, man, I am a bit pissed that Blue Beetle, for some reason, comes out in my country a month after everyone else. 
even though that's not a movie that I'm necessarily the most hyped about as a movie reviewer, I still always <laughs> want to like watch movies first and enjoy the hype of being one of the first ones to watch it, you know, and to deliver reviews uh, for a lot of people, but also mainly for me as I've been doing for the last five years. I just did like a recent analytics thing and I just saw the first year I was on YouTube, I got like 14 subs, second year I got 17 subs, 13, 37, wait, what? What am I talking about? I'm so brain dead right now, excuse me. But third year, I got like 30 something. Fourth year, which was last year. And it's always like this, my channel's growing and I'm like, yeah, that's all I'm saying. And hopefully it can grow to a point where I don't have to think about finding another job. But I don't know. I don't know what I'm rambling about. But anyway, that's where you guys come in. <laughs> um, yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, like and sub if you enjoyed and as always feel free to check out any of my previous videos until next time